Hey guys, this is Mark with Apple Tech One Tweet. In this video, I want to show you how you can set up a network rendering farm using Apple Compressor. Now, you may not think about it when you're hearing Final Cut Pro and Compressor. They seem fairly prosumer, not necessarily professional, where you would expect something like a network rendering farm. But Apple has done it, and they actually did it surprisingly well. It actually is something that even Media Encoder from Adobe does not do with multi-computer rendering and it's really seamless and straightforward. So let's show you how to set it up and get running with it. So the first thing you need are at least two Macs. You can have more, but in order to have a store, you have to have at least two, and they need to be connected on the same network. Um, Wi-Fi or Ethernet doesn't really matter. So the first thing you want to do is go into settings and then my computer, which you want to be on right now is the computer. You want to be the primary one to um, accept all the renderings but you can also enable it on multiple computers if you want to use three computers at a time. So pretty much just enable um, my computer and then turn that on for every computer that you want to be remotely used to render. So mine, I'm always on this computer and I'm not really gonna be rendering to it remotely. So I'm gonna keep that off, but on my Mac mini, which is my dedicated render machine, I do have it enabled. So you can turn that on and you can set a password if you want. Now, after you've done that, you're gonna go into shared computers. We'll go ahead and click the plus button and we will choose our computers. Now, my Mac mini is not currently on, but if we look at our export that we already have right here, we can see that I do have the Mac mini checked. That is going to render and export any videos that I choose to that computer. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Not only can you export to a remote computer on your network, but you can use multiple computers at the same time to help expedite the process. So if I wanted to use my computer to render as well as the Mac mini, I can check that box right here and any other computer that shows up on my network will be available with this plus if you do not see it appear automatically. So I can throw in my MacBook Pro, my Mac MacBook Air, so I can have four computers rendering one video at the same time. And this is a really awesome feature that you cannot do on Media Encoder. What Media Encoder does is it has a watch folder where anytime you put a project in there, it'll render it. And this is not the same way that Compressor works. You actually have to manually export using this program. But one benefit of this is that you can use multiple computers at the same time. So that's what I really love about this. So once we have created that um, export preset, we can add our video and then at the bottom, it will say process on. And I can say process on this computer or my preset that I made, which is called export. So if I choose this export option right now, it'll send that project over to the Mac mini to export using compressor and it will not do anything on this computer. And if I have multiple presets enabled, like if I wanted to do all my computers, this one could also show up right here. We can also manage priority from doing multiple ones at the same time. And then once we do have everything, we can hit start batch and that will then do everything on that computer. But there you go, that is how you export on another computer on your local network and also set up a render form using Apple Compressor. It's a really awesome and versatile program and I love it. If you have any questions on how this works, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with iApple Tech One Toy, and I'll see you in the next one.